Hello, I'm the Bowmeister, and welcome back to Blind Start. Last last episode I did, I said Blind Plays, but I was wrong. It's Blind Start. Today's Blind Start, we are doing Red Dead Redemption. Uh, this game was recommended to me by a friend, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Whether or not I will play it on the channel, probably, probably won't play it on the channel, just because I want to enjoy it. And I'm borrowing the coffee, so I'm going to have to give it back at some point. I figured it would just be easier if I start do a blind start on it, and then play through the rest of it on my own time. Just because I can. So, give me a second here. I'm going to go ahead and get my stop boys hot ready. Make sure my controller is still plugged in. I think that was supposed to be... There it goes. Press start. Single player. We're going to go normal. And we're going to create a new save game. Uh, auto save warning. Okay. Oh, timer will start. As soon as we get out of this screen here. So as soon as the cutscene starts to play, we'll go ahead and start rolling along. There we go. That is slightly ominous music there. Exodus in America. All right. Any day now. I don't know. It doesn't give me a prompt to hit a button, so I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. No, nope, it's just taking it through sweet time loading, which is fine. That's okay. So, oh, there we go. And here we go. This, this is a Rockstar game, so it should be entertaining. I've only played the Grand Theft Auto series from Rockstar, so... The question is, who are these two men? Who am I? Alright, so we're at Blackwater Station. We're gonna get on a train? They gonna put me on a train? Are these lawmen? I have so many questions. Red Dead Redemption. But what are we getting redemption for? Oh, what's Red Dead? Is it different from Blue Dead? Black Dead? Pink Dead? Nice to see the open cars in the background, or the open door in the background. Oh. That they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Okay, then. Unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. You know, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals. 
But they're happier now. Oh. Happier now in quotation marks. What way of thinking there? Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Must be early 1900s. Apparently. Give or take. Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes, his family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Alright, so here we are. First things first. Alright, so sir, squares jump. There we go. Uh, we're going to options. Controls. So on foot. Looks like R1 is to take cover, R2 is to punch less fire. Starts to pause, squares to jump, triangles to use context. I think that's what that says. Circles to reload, reload, exits run. Uh, R3 is to look behind slash dead eye, and right thumbstick is to use uh, quick pick selection. Left thumbsticks to move. L3 is to crouch. Up on the D pad is to call your horse. Select the satchel. Okay, L2 is to zoom. Okay. Okay. Right now we're just worried about being on foot. Uh, configuration. Vibration on. Self paw. If you want to go left, well, no, I'm not going to touch any of these right now just because I'm not sure. I'm not wearing headphones using PS3. We are going to crank up the brain, it's just a smidge, not much. But we are going to also going to turn on subtitles. Subtitles are very helpful things. Alright. Alright, so let's check out our menu here real quick. So, we are in Armadillo. Or, yeah, technically we're in Armadillo. Okay. Weapons. We have two. We have just a knife and a cattleman revolver. Okay. Nothing nothing exciting there. Outfits. We just have our standard clothing. There are 16 outfits to choose from. Okay. Journal. 
It's just going to show us how to move here. Options, stats. Oh boy. All right. So I'll walk around, right to look around. Map zooms in. You walk through the station. To run, hold X to sprint. Okay, so same kind of mechanics as you get in like G GTA 3 in San Andreas. Flip on your map and kick to mission objective. Move to the objective, which is what we'll what we'll do to start. It looks like the X is our destination objective. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. They're pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Okay, so now we're going to get on a horse. Cool. Do pound those ivories, my friend. All right, so now we're going to go... Uh -huh. Ride some horses. Cool. Let's get. All right, getting up on my horse is as simple as getting on triangle. Wait for the train to pass by so we can cross the tracks here. Fellas, Lord Mercy, you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the port in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind, Miss Van. Galloping, you get a sword for extra speed by tapping X. This will temporarily reduce your horse's stamina. If you spur too much, yours may try to buck you off. Okay. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> all right, so the horse stamina is to the left, apparently, so it must be that bar that's be a, like yellowish orange right now. Maybe it's green, I can't really tell. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater fig bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. They're just going to be out here wandering the you ain't very countryside here. Are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Okay. What exactly are we here for? You don't look much like no black border fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high flute and big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city, more of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. I'm afraid to run into a tree. Yeah, yeah. No, where am I going? Me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? Hey, you wind them up like a clock. Damnedest thing he ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast. That's for sure. Damn coyotes. What a waste of good meat. Almost there, Mr. Marshall. Just over this hill. Whoa now. Come on. Alright, let's go. 
we are, Fort Mercer. That's where we're supposed to be. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks there, bucko. I don't even remember your name. Don't care to remember your name, to be honest. All right, we're going to approach Fort Mercer. I suppose we can go ahead and get off our horse. Anything good in here? Nope, just jumping around. Having ourselves a grand old time. Alright, we're gonna sprint. It's quiet. Too quiet. Bill, Bill I've come for you. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, that. Do I look like I need saving? That lantern Bill, keeps rolling back and forth. It's kind of funny. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> You implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Are they? Now I'm in charge. You are, huh? No more Dutch. And no more Who's you. Dutch. I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Are you trying to get my riled up well. there? Oh. And I've been shot. <laughs> Poor John. Oh, game over. Goodbye. Wasn't I by the gate? How did I get shot over here? Unless I dragged my carcass all the way over there. I must have, because there's those dark stains on the left side of the road there. Alright, new friends, old problems. Okay. Haven't gotten to any combat yet, so I don't know how that's going to work there. And I achieved a treatment, that government boy. Or a trophy, excuse me. Cool. Sorry. It's, it's pretty late. Well, yeah, the one from earlier. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. 
Stupid is the word we use around here. <laughs> what were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll I like penny dreadfuls. I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right, now we're gearing back up. And now we go, actually we're gonna go ahead, come back in here and explore around a little bit. Let's see if there's anything of interest in here. Bonnie is the blue, blue? Yep, blue blip on our map. Yo, lady. All right, so we'll walk around, look around. Hello to you two. I suppose we should take it here for it. Now we did just get up after, you know, you know being bedridden for a few days after getting shot. Yeah, don't want to overexert ourselves just yet. Yeah, even just walking is overexerting ourselves right now. Alright, stop. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Oh, sorry, I had to edge my eyeball there for a second so I couldn't see because I took off my glasses. All right. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Hop on up. He won't bite. Ski up! Come on then. I'll show you around the property. All right, let's go. Try not to, to override a partner here. Store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. 
Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Come on, easy up now. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Come on, horse. Go. Hit your horse. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't know why I have my gun good run. There we are. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. All right, let's get back on the horse here. I think we're going to be going a little over on time this time. That's okay. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Alright, so, since we're going to be on horseback, we might as well take a look at controls for being on horse. Alright, so, target is L2, fire is L R2, okay. Alright, just wanted to make sure I knew what my firing, because we're going to be firing things here in a little bit. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Come on then. Time to put that bloodlust of yours to good use. Wow, that was a bad first shot there. There, got one, finally, Jesus. Gotcha, damn varmint. Let's get going. 
We've still got plenty of ground to cover. Come on! If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Oh, let me get back to my horse. Around all the way from it. Too bad off of time. Not too bad at all. This is you, Mr. Marston. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna go hit your horse up. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kinda happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Sleeping in bed in the room to save the game. If you sleep, you'll wake up six or eight hours later. Can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in our room. Okay, cool. My fame and honor. Revolver ammo. Cool. General stores, doctors, and gunsmiths around the territory only to buy new weapons, restock on ammunition, or purchase potent potables. Some people even deal with federal information about the surroundings, format maps, or newspapers. Oh, cool. Can change outfits, but we don't have any. So, we'll just hold off on that for now. But we're going to go ahead and save our game. No save file present, but we are going to save. Good to be on your map to speak with Bonnie McFarland. All right, but that's going to be all that we have for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this, blind starts or otherwise, in the future. Until then, I am the Bowmeister, and as always, I have been... Obediently yours.